There's two types of people in the world. There's takers and there's givers. If you're a taker, you're gonna keep going down, 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 and you're gonna wonder why you ended up at the bottom. If you're a giver, you're gonna keep going up, up, up. Always be an asset. Don't ever be a liability. I don't care where you show up. You show up to a party, never show up empty handed. Always roll in with a $40 bottle of red wine, boom, on the table. Don't ever be a liability. Don't ever be open palmed, ever. The military guys were my heroes when I was growing up. Special forces type guys. Whether it was movies or TV shows or like reading the books, and really what got me hooked, I think, were the books. You know, at school they'd be like, we're gonna read like Catcher in the Rye or these other books. I'm like, yeah, I know those are classics, but like I'm more like reading about LERPs in Vietnam. You know what I mean? I'm into that. I just wanted to hear the stories and I couldn't get enough of them. Yeah, I wasn't the high school quarterback guy. I think I was 160 pounds, five foot 11, super skinny, off the wall kid that was got suspended a lot, was in trouble in high school all the time. I showed up at Bud's and there were guys with like mustaches and beards and shit. I was like, oh, well, I've probably come to the wrong place. But I'm like, well, I'm just gonna keep going until it makes sense to not keep going anymore. You know, we started with 87 guys and seven of us graduated. There's so many guys that are like so much better than me in so many areas, I just didn't quit. They just rang the bell and I didn't. I was approaching 20 years, and um, I had to go to a couple brain injury centers. And I was on, you know, started getting medications. Right, you're carrying, you know, your your prescription bottle stack starts looking like a damn 18 pack of Natty Ice. You're like, ah, this doesn't seem sustainable. So I decided to get out. But I also still wanted to go to the mountains. Like uh, they never left me. Like all the things that you would see people doing while you were stuck, like in the military you know, kind of constraints. It was like, I wanna go do what that guy's doing. That guy's in the Himalayas. That guy's like skiing the steep sick spines. I wanna try that. You know, like, I, they never left me. So I'm like, that's it, I'm done. Let's move to the mountains. I'm, I, I wanna go to the mountains. I probably got to know Evan better than most because I'm the training coordinator for the ski patrol. You know, I knew Evan was retired military, and when you first meet Evan, it's like, this guy's a pro. Being like stoked about being a new guy again. What does it feel like to like start from scratch? I walked into the explosives cell for training and Sean was running it. He's like an explosives boss now. So second year, he's already kind of flown past, you know, 40 guys up there. So, you know, we know when we have, there's knowledge in the room and, you know, we definitely knew that about Sean. I mean, nobody's gonna have more experience than him when it comes to explosives. Doing explosives in avalanche control is, it's a lot different than, you know, putting an ECT charge on a door. There's like the risk element, but there's also a bunch of other people, like the public, that are gonna come in and ski that, that you need to make sure it's good to go. Because after you blow a door in a compound and run in, it's not like, and now 2,000 skiers are gonna come into this compound and hopefully there's no other shooters or IEDs in the compound. You know what I mean? Like, we're responsible for a lot. We have to nail it. All right, 322 at 100. Barrel check, double, good. Take safe. One Walk. sec. All right, everybody safe? All right, safety's off, prepare to fire. Fuck! Safety's on. Copy that, we're cutting out in a second. Oh, keep oh. Oh, shot. So one of the things that I decided to do was just have the confidence in knowing what you did in the military or your, or your previous career, whatever the hell that was. And if you're doing a major transition to something completely new, like starting an entirely new career or a new life, Know what you did. You can internally be kind of proud of the things you did, but but don't be unloading from the moment you wake up until the, that night. It's like you weren't in the military, but I chose to do that. Like, who are you kidding? Like, thank you for your service. Like, thanks for being a taxpayer. Do you realize what we got to do? Like, if I were to like, if I had a GoPro on on anything, everything I did in the military, it would be epic. Uh, it would be a, it would be insane. Like, thank you 
taxpayer. <laughs> like, I got to do all of that. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I got to give back. The game trying to explain your love is tame. But you like a dog out on the prowl. 